Energy Reviews. Thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. I always appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate that you uh, like and share, uh, not necessarily for me, but uh, for the fact that our community of weapons, tools, outdoor community kind of thing really needs support right now. We need to show YouTube that uh, we're not backing down. Um, if we don't do a mass exodus together and leave YouTube and we decide to stay as a group, then we need to like everything. We need to show that this is the content that we appreciate. Um, so anyways, you know, enough preaching about that. Still using the row field line sling bag. Somebody uh, was smart enough to contact me and let me know that they did start making this bag again. It's not out of production, so you can get it again. And I think I saw it at like 30 bucks, 25 bucks, 30 bucks at Walmart again myself. And so uh, I paid 15 for it when it went on sale and I think they were going out of production. I don't know what was going on with field line tactical. Um, I know they're still making outdoors bags, but they're not so tactical. And uh, I'm gonna stick with this bag. I don't, I don't plan on buying anything else. Um, I hate spending money on more things. Um, didn't used to be that way, but I, I'm realizing I need less and less. And uh, this bag is, is kind of minimalist, but it's a great bag. 15 bucks, I, I can't complain about this bag. So if you don't have one of these, you don't have a backpack in general, if you can get one of these for real cheap, this is a fantastic bag. It took me a little bit to get used to the sling, but it's, it's great. One of the things that I keep in there, which is the topic of today's video, is the Gerber Dime. This is the only Gerber product that I've ever kept or liked. Um, I haven't used the Gerber Strong Arm, and I have a feeling I maybe would like that. But uh, I've, I've seen the other multi-tools, I don't care for them. And the Gerber Dime is super tiny, as the name insinuates. Here it is next to a Cold Steel Fin Wolf. Pretty small. Um, it is a little bit heavy, it's kind of a chunky feeling tool, but then again it's, it's all metal. And so it should be um, smaller than the blade of the fin wolf. Sinks down your pocket. I put a little piece of stretch fabric on there so I can um, bind it up like this around a belt loop or something like that. But usually it just rides in my, my row bag um, compared against a couple other blades here. Here it is against the uh, Cold Steel Pendleton, Mini Pendleton Hunter. And uh, again, just the size of the blade, weight is comparable. And just for fun, why not against Condor Moonstalker? There you go. There's a pretty great comparison. So it's small. You get the idea. It's a very small tool. And uh, multi-tools for me, um, their whole purpose is just to be generally utility friendly, uh, useful enough. I'm not looking for something to disarm bombs, although um, one of my buddies was EOD in Iraq and uh, he did use a Gerber um, for disarming bombs, <laughs> so he's a big fan. I don't do that though, and so I appreciate this little guy right here. Uh, as far as I can tell, you have your general things. You have your pincers up front, and there's two, um, there's actually three diameters of use there. There's a, a wire cutter type tool in the middle. I've used that for cutting wire. It's minimally useful. Um, in the center, you have something that you could grab onto an average size nut or bolt, maybe give it a tighten, and then you're going to have your primary surface here, and then also some pinchers on the end that you could grab with. Um, and next, you're going to have kind of a unique blade. Everything is nail nick on this. It's very small. Unique blade. It's a good one for like opening a little package or something like that. Um, scraping on something it's it's only sharpened right there um, if I were to edit this tool this certainly would be the first piece to go this is the most worthless tool on this whole thing I don't know why they would choose this out of all the things they could put on there a mini saw would be more useful a mini saw over this thing um, it does have other things and attributes that make up for it though it's got a great blade I don't know what steel Gerber uses in these blades um, but this little blade, it looks like it's about one and a quarter inch, two inches. Woofta. Somebody's talking a lot. Hold on. All right. So one and a quarter inch, one and a half inch, something like that. Um, it's got some stamping on the back. I have no idea what that is for. But the blade is, I'm not going to call it a Tonto. I'm not going to call it a sheep's foot. I don't know what I want to call it. But it's got a belly on it. And it's got a point 
Um, I don't know what kind of design that is. I, I don't really care for the specification or whatever. I'm just going to tell you that it's very useful. It's very, very useful. The lockup is reasonable. It's not really tight. It's not really loose. It's in the middle. But it's a really, really usable blade. Uh, I, I really appreciate this knife. Um, I've used it on making feather sticks. I've used it in uh, cutting some zip ties and things like that. And when I don't want to ruin the edge of whatever other knife I have, or I don't want to scare the crap out of somebody pulling out a huge blade, um, it's a good blade to go to. There is a flathead type tool on here. It necks down a little bit. It's a little thinner at the edge, but it's not a chisel point. Just basically a, a flathead. That's all it is. Again, the ingenuity in this was not high. It's very useful, and it proves to me that they, they should have done better because uh, it could have been more amazing. Um, there's a somewhat of a file on here which is practically unusable because all this stuff gets in the way, like the can opener gets in the way. So you just have this side right here, and again, a, like a, a Phillips type driver right here. And I do use that kind of stuff quite a bit. It's pretty useful. I used to never carry multi tool. And then the scissors. Of course, every multi tool has a pair of scissors. Um, on just about every multi tool or Swiss Army knife I've ever had, I would have preferred anything else over the scissors. It's not the most, I mean an awl, I would have preferred an awl over the scissors. If I have a blade, an edge, the scissors are again minimally useful, especially scissors that are this small. Check that out. And they just work on a, a tiny spring um, right here, spring bar. And functionally they, they are good, they, they do good as scissors, but it's just not something I need. Um, I would have preferred a can opener on here rather than a bottle opener. Um, I might maybe misspoke earlier. This is a bottle opener, not a can opener. I would have far preferred um, a can opener rather than a bottle opener because they can they can kind of be used as both sometimes. Um, so why do I like this tool? Because I've, I've dropped some criticisms on it uh, because this is a step in the right direction for me. This tool makes a lot of sense. It's small, it's not huge, and if I had to choose between the two, a lot of times I end up going towards just carrying a knife if it's going in my pocket. If it's going in a backpack, um, I could carry something bigger, I suppose, but I don't want to. I don't want a big heavy multi-tool all the time. And uh, this cost me $3. So here's where the big win is. Again, it was at Wally World. Um, I don't do a lot of shopping at Walmart, but when I do, I find deals. And uh, 3 bucks is what this was going for. I'm sure it was retailing a little higher. I think it maybe was down from 10 bucks, something like that. And even at 10 bucks, um, it's kind of useful. I actually kind of like it. It's just so small, it's it's easy, it, it sinks into your pocket, disappears. Um, there's some lashing options. And if you were looking to maybe match this with something else out in the woods, maybe, I don't know, maybe you'd want to make a little Kydex uh, holster for it to fit on another sheath. It could fit, I mean, it could lash on here as it is. I could find a way to lash it on here with some shock cord or something like that, but I would just bang out a little Kydex sheath for it, lock it on there. Um, pretty useful little piece of gear. I mean, even on this uh, mini Pendleton Hunter, I could uh, make a piece of Kydex and have this locked up on front on top of this and just be again that much more useful if you're looking for small contained systems of things um, I don't use really tiny blades anymore I don't use a whole lot of neck knives you're looking at one of the only ones I have left I've sold just about everything else that was a neck knife um, and I made this a neck knife because uh, it's one of the few knives I think was worthy of the calling for me so if you're trying to make a really small package maybe you'd lock this in with that throw that in a bag and you can get by you can do a lot with this uh, mini Pendleton Hunter. It's a it's stainless VG1 and uh, there's a fire steel on here and some shock cord and a little bit of paracord. But adding this to the mix, sure, you could do quite a bit just between these two things. Um, as far as crafting, uh, I wouldn't really call that a survival option. I don't think that's totally practical. Um, if you were going on a serious trip and you took this it would have to be something somewhat redundant. This is not going to save your butt 
too often. Most survival scenarios I've ever heard of, it's just too small. Um, but these two together, they pair nicely. Uh, I, I usually carry more weight than that when I'm going out, um, unless it's kind of a city slicker place. Then I'll carry something smaller, a small package like that. Overall, I just wanted to throw it out there. I know a lot of people carry multi-tools nowadays. They're pretty popular and a lot of people like the bigger multi-tools, but I like the smaller one. I don't know what it is. I don't feel like carrying another thing on my belt line somewhere or in my pocket even. I don't want another big thing. And uh, this, just for the weight and what it can do and what I expect out of a multi-tool, which is not a huge amount, mostly using these things and the blade, all right? Uh, it does just fine and three bucks is hard to beat. That's the Gerber Dime. Edge Reviews gives it, generally, a thumb up. Some modifications might be needed. Some improvements, Gerber, if you're listening in the future, um, more useful tools, less gimmicky things on this, and you're gonna have a real seller. People are gonna dig that. But uh, just like Aaron from uh, Gideon's Tactical has been saying lately, the multi-tool market seems like they're out of ideas. And uh, they've, they've been so redundant. They've done the same thing a million times. And this is just different enough that I appreciate it. So, Edge Reviews, thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for your likes, shares, subscribe, and uh, check out this video over here, or you can subscribe over here. Bye.